All right, today I'd like to show you two different marine air conditioners. Uh, this is a conventional marine air conditioner and this is a variable speed air conditioner. Now there is a significant difference between how uh, the two operate. This compressor has one speed. It's on full blast or it's off. Now the blower has some variance in, in its speed, but in terms of the compressor, it's either on or off. Now when you turn on this compressor, it draws a big load and it's kind of a, a bit of a shock to the system. If you're trying to running off of an inverter or a small generator, typically that's not going to work. There's workarounds. You can add a uh, soft start that helps uh, the startup load of these air conditioners. And that way you can run it on a small inverter or a small generator. But to alleviate all of that, a variable speed is really the way to go. Uh, there is zero startup load on a variable speed compressor. Um, and instead of being slam on and slam off, it's kind of like uh, it, it has a range of operation and the compressor actually slows down to reduce the amount of cooling to maintain that scent point. Um, so for example, on and off, it's full blast and then it shuts off and then the temperature goes down or up depending on heat or cold uh, and then full blast off. So you have this temperature fluctuation of a few degrees as it's trying to maintain the temperature that you've set. Whereas the variable speed compressor it'll reduce the speed of the compressor to give you that perfect temperature that you're looking for and that you've set on the temperature control. Th there's a lot of advantages. Once the temperature is set, the compressor ramps down, the fan ramps down, you have this constant flow of cool air and it's not noisy. Like you barely hear the, the uh, air conditioner on at all as opposed to hearing this guy slam on and off. Um, the other benefit as well is energy efficiency. This is probably 1200 watts to 1300 watts uh, when it's running with the pump and that's through an inverter so that accounts for the inverter losses whereas this guy over here you're probably at 1050 now i can't wait to test this one this is a new model it claims to be a little bit uh, more efficient but we'll find out here in the coming days and uh, we'll demonstrate that in a video as well so the other benefit of having a variable speed air conditioner is um, with the control you can set it in eco mode so let's say you have you have this in your sleeping cabin and you want to be able to run it off the inverter uh, through the batteries at night, you can do that because you can reduce the speed of the compressor by putting it in night mode and you're going to draw maybe 300 watts to be able to run it all night long. Now, you're not going to have a 16,000 BTU air conditioner at 300 watts, but it's going to dial itself back to say maybe you know, 4,000 or 6,000 BTU, but that's enough if you close the door to your cabin, that's enough to keep you cool overnight. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, really nice machine. Um, I definitely recommend it over a, a traditional on-off unit. And uh, in a following video, we'll, uh, we'll show you the performance. We'll make some, take some measurements and see how they compare and try to describe uh, the features a little bit more.